Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem Ignorant Dawn, one of the last episodes before Endgame because we're in 4-4, Oliver's Mention. Probably my most feared chapter in all of Part 4, if not the entire game because it's just so massive. But I have some uh, guidance to the Tower of Guidance with me. Raisins, how are you doing, man? I'm doing excellently. To be honest, I think this is one of those chapters that you should take seriously, right? I mean, there's a... There's a lot going on here. There's some reinforcements. You, know, you got to get out of here before they so appear. Or again, as some of the YouTube comments have mentioned, just let them all show up and then have Ike grind EXP on them, right? So, uh, so <laughs> I, I mostly dealt with the bottom of the map when I was preparing, and I just scrolled up for like the first time in a couple, like a week or something. And like, just, damn, there's like more yellow tiles than like floor tiles here. It's so massive how many enemies yeah, there are. Like, like, you have pass equipped, and it's like, I don't, this doesn't even matter. Like, yeah. I, don't, I have nowhere <laughs> to land. stuck in the middle of a bunch of enemies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but this yeah. one's there. There's also that status staff on the top. Oh, boy. Yeah, and... there's a sleep bishop, right? Somewhere around here. Yeah. Sleep bishop, you're right. Yeah, that's that's the only one, though, right? Like, it's just one sleep. I'm trying to think, and yes, I think it's correct. Yeah. It's only one sleep. Yeah, so that's boy, sleep. Boy, does he have some range, though. So. Yeah. The, the sleep thing is funny because if you look at my team, you might notice a particular vulnerability when it comes to the sleep staff. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, um, can any restore staff users climb up ledge? Nope. Or... <laughs> nope. nope? Okay. Mist is stuck down here until we go all the way around here and up here. And I mean, we have to go there anyway to route, but it means that all of our mounted units are stuck on the bottom floor. And I could have undeployed someone like Kieran or Oscar, um, but I was like, well... If I play without Restore, I have to sit through someone like Ike or Nyla sleeping for five turns. I don't think I can deal with that. Like, yeah, unless no. I want to shove him a couple times to wake him up. So, we're going to have to do a bit of an alternative approach. Because, I don't know about you, but my usual approach is to climb one of these two ledges at the starting point as soon as possible with, like, Ike and Nyla. And work our way up to, you know, where the boss is and all these people and just bonk the sleep staff in the head. But if I can't Restore them up their way there, then we're going to have to take a different approach, right? Yeah, that's pretty much what I do too here as well. But it's like... Actually, yeah, what do you do? Like, pure water at the start, preemptively, or...? I, I do pure water, but I think even with pure water, you have a chance of getting hit. We might dodge, we might not, but... What I think we'll do is we'll set up a Vigor here at the starting point, so you get rid of two Swordmasters. And then we'll have Ike go this way instead, and that should skirt the range of the Sleep Staff while also dealing with a bunch of 1-2 range enemies. Mm -hmm. And then Nyla can still climb up here. I think her Sleep Avoid might actually be decent, we'll just fight whatever we can up here. Uh, it's mostly 1 range enemies, I think. And we'll have her work on this, and then we can have uh, these two, Shinon and Gatri, uh, close off this corridor, hopefully kill these two enemies. And then th that should get these two, two guys out of range. And if Nyla is up here, we can enemy phase these guys. And then hopefully we, that way we can keep Vika, Tormod, and Muarum kind of safe, I think. That's that's the rough plan, basically. Pretty um, good idea, I like it a lot. Um, and then I have some... I have a pretty... I think my turn one plan is pretty good, but from there it's going to be pretty wild because keeping people out of range of the enemies while making sure they go into my actual capable units is going to be one hell of a ride. Let's, uh, let's do some quick checks for bonus experience and then we'll get into it. Um, so I don't think we back Spike because he's only got one stat capped. Uh, Tormat, Vika, and Moram are pretty much beyond redemption for this chapter. Yeah, no. Nyla, I don't they think can, so. They can like barely combine for a kill on a yeah. guy sometimes and yeah. Moram can like tank. Yeah. So, like, it works, but. Mm -hmm. Not super great. I guess there's like the option of having Olki take some Bexp and then using a Satori sign to get uh, Tear. That is an option we could take. It's like this is about a third of a level for like want to say like how, how much for the how much for the whole thing like oh it's this much that's a quite a bit quite a portion yeah so I know that's kind worth. Of activate Alki just for this map. He, he's only at A rank strike, it says, yeah? Yeah, so I don't know if that's worth it. it we might just to have to just rely on Ike instead, I think. So here's a thought, actually. Uh, what about Nyla? Uh, is her strength growth good enough to warrant this? Because she needs nothing else, right? Oh, it's it's like 25%, actually. I feel like this is going to be just super awful. I do know that uh, Nyla is like just barely short of the generals, right? Yeah. In fact, I frequently give her an energy drop. Uh, just for like... It's just wild, but streamers. I get it. <laughs> Um, but, I, yeah, looking at the growths, I think she just doesn't ever get it. Yeah, it's 30% strength, and that's behind, like, that. that's behind her luck, her defense, her res, her HP. Yeah, yeah the odds are not it ain't right happening. Here, I think we're just gonna have to do with what we have, which is, yeah. I don't know, I think Nyla 
Sure, if you don't get that strength bonus, then she only one rounds generals. Or she doesn't one round generals at bare minimum, but she still one rounds them like 60% of the time, right? Because of um, Savage. Uh, oh, true. Yeah, I was like, what the heck are you talking about, Mecha? But no, you're, you're yeah. totally right. That Savage skill does exist. And it does proc. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Yeah. It, it feels kind of weird to not spend the backs, But, you know, then again, every time we go into a map, we like zero out our backs. And we say, oh man, we need more We need more of this. We gotta save it up for next time. And then we just totally don't, right? We like completely forget the next time we record an episode. Sometimes. I mean, I'm, I'm saving it, it for horror now, for Endgame. I swear, I will not let that that like last half hour of the previous chapter go to waste. <laughs> All right, let's get yeah, into it. For, let's just get in there. I let's agree. get in there. Okay, so obviously Nyla should be in this vigor. And Oki should be in there as well, because he can use the Lagoo Stone and then get vigored. So I think Oki goes here. Mm -hmm. And Is he going to have the Goose Stone or the Goose Gem? Uh, gem, wow. gem, Gem, Massive, yeah. okay. Yep, the Convoy Drop is why I wanted it, so we go here. And then we can have Nyla. It doesn't really matter whether Ike or Nyla goes here or here, I think. They're pretty much equivalent, so we'll just go here. I'm boldly assuming she double Sword Masters, by the way. I hope she does. Yeah, she ought to, I believe. I would hope so. Let's find out. Boink. Okay, good. All right. Well done, Nyla. What about Boyd? Does Boyd double Sword? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> These guys are like some so. of the fastest people in the game. Mm -hmm. Like these are actually the first ones that Janath doesn't double. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll ragnail this guy. No ether, that's okay. We can finish that one with Boyd later if we want to. Um, oh my god, do we still have Paragon on him? We do. We have. Wow. No, we have a Paragon on Ike right now. Forgot to mention yeah. that. Uh, I need to actually see what's going on here because, yeah. So I kind of want Gatry. I guess I might not be able to one round both of these guys, but I can definitely wall in the halberdier and then kill the sniper from like here, and that should mm -hmm. be fine for these two. Let's see if that happens though. Uh, we'll try, I guess, silencer, brave bow. I think they're both one round, but this gives me more chances to put them to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Forever. There's. There we go. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. There we go. That's better. <laughs> put him to sleep. Yeah. About that. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he's, he's asleep. And then we can use the Brave Axe on Gatcher. There you go. Yeah, we still got 39 uses of that. Did we hammer in that? Uh, Maybe I did. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. I can't actually remember whether or not we did. Mm -hmm. We hammered some kind of Brave weapon in mm -hmm. 3E, right? Yeah, the Brave Sword, though. That's, a, that's oh, different. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now you know what is... Yeah. You know what it was is we reserved this for Jill and then Jill died. So <laughs> Yeah, I think what happened is I convoyed it by accident in 3-6 when I was doing info convos. Uh, let's see if we can finish this by the way. Hmm. And then I forgot to take it out and then Jill died in 3-6 and there was no one who could really use it besides Seronio in 3-12. And then in 3-13 we didn't really want to use it. And it just kind of uh, went wrong from there. Alright, so I guess we do this now. Obviously. I think Muarm can take out that Halberd here because he gets weakened in the cutscene, the the one you see on the ledge, right? I think yeah, he can do he's, that. Yeah, he starts the map weakened. Yes. Let's see how much he does. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, nice. Perfect. I can't remember too. Does Tormod's fire time start with like a use depleted or? <laughs> uh, he does not. No. He get okay. a full use of it. Full and glory. Okay. He procced arms thrift, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure did. Uh, well, probably just Nyla full in and just use the pure water, I guess. Like, yeah, we gotta do something about it now. Does Nyla have any other skills, like pass or...? I think she, I gave her pass. I actually don't know for sure. So I guess we'll find out mid-battle, because I'm not allowed to check, right? Yeah, so no. We'll just go here and, and do this thing. Uh, I guess we can go here to block this general, maybe, from reaching some tiles. But since some we can move all these Lagoos guys here, I don't think we need to. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a danger. Like, just move closer to the enemy, I think, is the better thing to do. All right, well, I don't think she's in range. Actually... Like no, this is fine. I was thinking for a moment that the other square was better because it's like in range of more enemies, but it's actually not in range of more enemies because the, there's only one general who can move to attack us. These other ones up here don't move. So like... What about this guy though? Oh, hmm, actually if we go down here. Yeah, but then we lose the warrior on the left, so... And all the guys on this ledge. Like it has to be either the top of the square or the one just southeast of it, I think. It has one, to be one of those two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I guess getting that Swordmaster is kind of worth. So this yeah. is probably the best tile. It's either that one or the other one, but the thing is, like, you know, I, I was thinking this topmost tile was closer, but we can't really crash through these generals anyway, so yeah. we might as well just stay here. Yeah, I like this because I think it shields, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Do you know have five or six move? Uh, this one. Six move. Yeah, so then he could attack yeah, Marm if I don't put her here, so this is probably better then. 
And then we'll just have uh, these two hide over here, I guess. While they're chilling. Yeah, you can be on standby. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to move uh, Gachi and Shinon up here so they could do this. Because otherwise Keeping... you have like no safe tiles for these two Lagoos or these two people. Yeah, there's like nowhere to go. Keeping uh, Tormod around here, actually, Tormod and Morams just kind of finish off the general could be pretty handy too as well. Mm -hmm. You could have Alki face down this one warrior on enemy phase. If Ike is going here anyway. Like, just I go... think so. I want it to be out of range of the general, obviously, so like maybe here. It's probably Wait, fine. where's Ike? Where is Ike going? Just curious. Yeah, so obviously I want Ike to be in range of as many enemies as possible while safe. So like, this is in range of Boyd and some warriors. I think the crossbow warrior, not the general though. The further I move in, the more he gets to fight this turn, but it's also like the more mages he has to fight. Mm -hmm. But if I, if I pure water him, he's probably fine. If I go yeah. here. I'm assuming. <laughs> I mean, it's turn one. You might as well try, right? <laughs> yeah, it's turn one. The, the pure water, I think, is a fair play. Uh, we gotta watch out for this warrior who's in range of Raphael here yes. at the very south. So yeah, that's what the flunkies are for, though. With him. That's what the flunkies are for. They're like, if they die this chapter, I'm honestly not super concerned. But if they can so, contribute by keeping Raphael relevant, I think I'm totally fine with that. In fact, what we can do is maybe drop him over here at the bottom of this ledge. Then we can come walk up next turn and Vika, like, or <laughs> Vika, Vigor these people. Maybe yeah. including Vika. Like this. There you go. And then they'll make their way through this corridor behind Ike after this. Uh, Heather we can probably did open bring some, Heather. Yeah, to open some things. I don't know if that's going to be relevant or not. She might be able to shove I mean, Raphael too, I don't know. But yeah, very helpful. I know, right? I mean, you saw how much Khalil did last chapter, just by shoving Soth. To be fair, yeah, you're right. Alright, buy Hetzel. See your Hetzel. Oh, he just like gets out of here, he's like, alright, see ya. Yeah. Okay. No sniper. Yeah, we'll probably just have to Nyla attack that guy, because like, who else is going to do it? Okay, time for some uh, free XP opportunities for Ike. I let the ponage begin, right? Yeah. It's, it feels bad not to use the support, but at the same time, Boyd would just, like, hold the thing up so much that I think it's better to do it this way. Ugh, gross. Uh, I mean, like, he already doubles. This is fine. Like, the question is, can he beat that general? And that's, that strength helps, so... Yeah. Uh, that's true. That's true. I guess I wanted res? I don't know what I wanted there, then. Skill? I don't know. I just wanted to cap stats so I can max out his speed. That's really all I care about. But he has all the speed he needs, necessarily. I just... I just like green numbers, and I like, especially on Ike, I just like having a bunch of stats on him. Which... Yeah, to be honest, if he backs from now, he probably gets speed. For sure. Is that... It's not... There's no way he got speed, because he didn't have it in preps, he didn't gain it here, but... 33 no. is a lot. Is this cap like 35, 36? It's something... I, I want to say it's way higher than that. Okay. Okay. Caught this guy out in the open. Oh god, Oki's like... Forehead kill in his enemies. Even with double S strike, oh. that doesn't do it. What? Didn't see that coming, but that's alright. I think Moron could probably get that anyway. I think so too, yeah. Right, please savage this guy. Come on, okay. Oh, she two rounds. Oh this wow, she just does it. Wait, what? Was I just wrong? Well the the guys up top are I think like notoriously more bulky slash higher oh, okay. level. So I don't think you were wrong on generals. This is we didn't specify which generals. That's an unfortunate miss. It happens though, Gatri, it happens to the best of us, but mostly to you. Yeah. Uh, I like how there's a war next to Ike, he just hasn't had the chance to move yet, <laughs> so he's just sitting there. He's just chilling, blocking he's everyone's facing range attacks. Okay, well, Ike is uh, gaining steam. Alright, okay. I don't there think that's go. his there HP cap, is it? There's no way it is. 60? I think it. it's like 65 is his yeah. HP cap, I want to say. That's what I, say, what I would say, too. Okay, warrior down, warrior down. I Repeat almost regret Paragon, down. gotta say, because... I want more Bex levels, but he's gonna like get to level twenty just this chapter alone. I can feel it. Yeah, I mean, if he if he gets to level twenty just off of his growths, and like, okay, yeah, maybe you miss some casts, but come on, come on, it's it's like level twenty. I like he should. I be like the green numbers though. Okay, looks like. I guess I don't know if Boyd can double Halberd years, but he can definitely like just take care of two by himself. So maybe we just keep this train going here. Mhm. Mm oh, nice. They made a little hallway for you up there. Yeah, so maybe just move Boyd like this, and then I just keep on trucking. I There's think only so. one general here anyway. Yeah, yeah, can Boyd survive three boys? I think or... Boyd can survive three boys. I think his defense is like quite okay, right? We can we can leave yeah. Ike behind if we really want to, but I think it's, be it's better to keep him moving. Yeah, do this, equip for one range. But he can't shove Ike? What? Yeah, he's not buff enough, it's so strange. Are uh... you serious? I are we detecting some range guys here? I think this guy might have a spear or something? No, they all have one range. 
Why is th why are holding their spear so differently then? Is it because they're facing uh, be differently? Yeah, they're at different angles. So okay. take your word for it. Uh, oh, let's boy. do some. I mean, he only has like this. So here you go. Go there and kill one. Make it easier for Boyd. Yeah, like what's the what's the difference in there? There's gonna be like a bunch of guys up there in that square soon anyway. So yeah, the... might as well. I remember that squad. I usually have to Tania go down this corridor. I miss her already. Nice speed though. Nice speed. Get on, nice get on. Um, We're getting like a point of strength or speed every other level, right? So yeah. Um, obviously, we can kill one with Oki, one with Warm. Warm could probably kill the Swordmaster, don't you think? Like, there's no way he doesn't kill the Swordmaster. He definitely can, but I'm wondering actually if that's like better left for Tormod. Uh, I have a bad like feeling about Tormod, but I don't think it's gonna do anything else. So I might as well check. I guess. I have a feeling he's not going to do that much damage, but let's see. He's like His damage output is horrible in this chapter. Oh, okay, worked out. Never mind. He was a really low HP. Yeah. Plenty, plenty. Yeah, pretty good. Um, I don't know about Vika against the Warrior either, but we'll see. Uh, no, whoa, wow. Whoa, hey, whoa, where are you, where there you are you go. Vika Who's fussing now? Well, we're on a roll, so... Yeah. If we can Warren plus Vika, this uh, sniper up here, Nyla can go somewhere else. That would be real value, so let's let's see it. I'm, I'm not feeling it oh, though. No. <laughs> not feeling it. Not go Vika, go. Go Vika, go. Alright, I'm gonna keep you here. More I'm finish the job. Nice one. Wow. Big claw. Big claw. Even yeah. now, his damage is still, like, kind of decent. Like, yeah, he's the most redeemable of this, this little group of three, I think. Um, well, there's still plenty of enemies up on the ledge, so we can just like, go north and just hit this guy, because I don't want him to just stay here and harass my Tormod or whatever. Right? Like, Yeah, it's... I don't think I have pass looking at this. Might be wrong, though. But I don't think I have no, pass I, on her. I, think you, I don't think you do. Alright, take this guy out. We're slow rolling it anyway. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Um, okay, so... Obviously, people aren't getting up here right now. But I feel like it's to walk up here anyway. What if we just attack these two and invigor them? <laughs> Maybe just move Seems better good up to for me, no yeah. reason. Just then, to have a unit there to get vigored? I think so. Uh, Wait, actually, no, we could have Shannon attack 3 range, and then that'll be what he does, right? Yeah, uh, I just realized that was an option. I was like figuring out kinds of complicated crossbow setups, but this is probably better. Uh, Gatri, this guy's on like half HP, this guy's on full HP. Maybe... Maybe Gatri Brave Axes this one? I think so. Let's see how much he does. We have to vigor anyway. Oh, wait. Oh, he, oh, he has the, the that's... injured lean. Yeah, I guess. I guess he did attack Gatri. Huh. Yeah, we have the provoke attack. Okay. Here we go, Gatri. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. All right. Uh, silencer this guy. There you go. Mm -hmm. Miss, miss. What? Who said that? Hit the next guy. <laughs> All right. We, we talked about hoarding Bex, but really, these people are gonna cap a bunch of stats after this chapter. This, this is definitely to play. I can feel it. We got their Heather. Mm -hmm. Figure. Do uh, Gatry and Shinon have chest keys for this little group, or no? Uh, I gave some to Vika, and some to Tormod, I want to say, or like, yeah, uh, Oki has some, and Vika has a door key, and then someone else here has a chest key. Someone. I'll find there it. There you go, Heather from part one. I mean, Heather is right here. We should probably just use Heather for these and send the keys up north. Yeah. After, after we clear out the room, of course. It's just I briefly saw Heather go to the right, and I'm like, gosh, is she going north? No, she can just, like, stay here. There's no rule that says if you dance them, you have to move them, like, way far <laughs> off in the yonder, right? Like, No. Uh, how about we do this, and then we have got to, like, I don't know, hammer this general or something? Yeah, we can punch through him over the course of a few turns. Or, well, hammer should just take him out, right? Yeah, actually no hammer here, but, oh. again, we have multiple turns, like you said, so... Just... Or the min-max. Min-max? Oh, be right, yeah. we do have min-max. All right, um, you didn't see the stats, right? Which one do you want? Ah, uh, the 30 use. 30 use. I did not see the stats. All right. Let's see, see, we got... Mm, honestly, can't even tell anymore. I, I'm bad at yeah, this can't, now. Yeah, can't even tell. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see, I guess. Uh, I there's no a bunch idea. of bishops. I don't think they're in healing range of that general, though, so we should be fine there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Okay, absolute worst case scenario. Yeah, this is fine. Just take it easy. They're not going to be advancing anytime soon anyway. Our poor cavalry army just in the back doing nothing. Yeah, well, the, they've already helped me get Raphael up in here. I'm honestly, this was already worth the point of war, I think. If, if they hadn't done that, Raphael would be dead right now. There you go. Hey, actually, speaking of Raphael, do you think maybe Heather could, like, shove him right? 
or yeah, maybe even just like a rescue drop with Oki. Yeah, why not? Um... I think Oki and then take drop, that gives Raphael the largest number of tiles, right? Well, yeah, but who's dropping? Oh, Oki is. But who's taking? Wait, can Heather, oh, oh can Heather pick right. up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I thought I was like, I, I was locked onto like my cancel unit doing the rescuing, but of yeah. course, you're allowed to be creative in this game. I think you're right. Yeah, that's much better than anything else. I was trying to find another use for him. Okay. Let's uh, see some action. Oh, but, oh, that's his, that's the first he can move, I guess. Okay, fair. Fine. Oh, yes. were you like, getting blocked off? Or? Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. Uh, the other guy can attack from below, right? Even if he, this first guy didn't die. I think so, yeah. Next, please. Don't worry, we're going to Colossus him, too. Of course. Yes. Of course. <laughs> of course. Now, I think Boyd and Ike might not make it to the general room in time to make meaningful contributions. Hmm. Oh, sick level up! Oh, That's finally! Cool. Yes, he's popping off. Just in time for... 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think this turn we might get some reinforcements. This chapter has the most reinforcements in like, the whole game, I feel like. Yeah, it's... Do it, Gatri. Luna, just once. Do it's it. either this one or like what? 3 e. Okay, that's it. I'm using the other axe. Ooh, savage. What if we have Gatri hand axe the door this turn? That's a pretty good move, actually. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nyla. Okay, so she can't make it to the ledge because of that stupid mage. So I guess we just attack in general now and just hope and pray. She's also, I think, yeah. she's about to range of some, uh, some sleepy boys. Maybe we just, instead of attacking, we just refresh her pure water. I think so. It's gonna be like what plus two res. That's a lot of avoid. Is it? Do you remember the formula? Uh, I think each point is six, six points of hit or avoid. And then there's something about skill and range too, but I don't yeah. remember that part. I just okay. remember <laughs> the part I was curious about. Okay, fair. We'll figure it out. It'll be oh, zero well, if she if she dodges, and it'll be hundred if he if she hits. That's the, if he hits. I, that's how I, it is. Okay, so I, I kind of like joke that I don't remember that part. I know each square of range <laughs> is minus one hit, and each okay. point of skill is plus one hit. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I can like get the door either way. Um, I yeah, I think I'll just. I th how much HP does the door have? I think it's weak to axis, right? So probably Gatry is the best to get that thing. Yeah, any hand axe kills it. So all right, let's see it. And we'll see if we need both Gatri here or also Shinon. If we don't need Shinon, we can just leave him out and just have him do other things. Uh, Gatri probably got this cover by himself. Let's just uh, maybe have Shinon peace out go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. There's like ledges here you can abuse. Maybe you can get up on this ledge somehow at some point and stop reinforcements, I don't know. Or get into this ledge here. Something, something. Or maybe helping Shinon is better because then this room gets cleared up fast and Heather can go elsewhere else faster. Oh, true. Yeah, Heather can just get in there. Yeah, I think uh, actually using him for this room is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they can attack by the chandeliers, though. Oh, he totally can. So Yeah, apparently so. Or the candelabra? What's that called? I have no idea. I don't know either. That's uh, that's one word above my English level. All right, free door key. Uh, I don't need that anymore. But I don't need the iron bow either, so bye. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, neither these not chest keys, so I'll just leave Heather here. And the more mobile units can some go raid chests somewhere else. Uh, Nyla is going... Uh, I don't know, do these have ranged weapons? I don't remember. No, they're both melee. There's okay. like a... One, two, three, I think it's like a five, killer six, and a killer. Seven. I think if we go here, we fight like one Swordmaster on enemy face, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. Don't fight that. Oh, we didn't use pure water yet, apparently. Today I learned. Oh, like not at all? Yeah, not at all. I guess oh. I just <laughs> forgot. It's a good thing both we did times. that then, huh? Yeah, I moved her twice yeah. turn one, neither of the times I used the pure water. Ah, uh, uh, chance of the ledge. this guy move? No, right? No. Oh god, that's annoying. So we have to get to him from above. That's annoying. Well, it's, uh, or you could just, you know, try it from below. Who knows? Well, I guess I can. Don't worry. You'll hit like the 30s or whatever it is up cliff, right? So. <laughs> I guess. Sure, he'll be fine. Let's get a mic. How much damage does he take from this? Ooh. Why did um... you make me do that? <laughs> I don't worry. He's fine. He's fine. I have a physic. It's just. Uh... Can't reach him out right of now. range, yeah. yeah, a little bit. Uh, who can we physic? We only have two uses, by the way. It's uh, not oh. a lot of physic uses. Well, I... we have like one use, right? Because we need the we need the health checker. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. Well, I guess that just means these people gotta hurry. Um, I think Raphael's. Where is he best off? This mage is gonna move now, right? Yeah, so... this mage is so inconvenient right now. Like, 
I don't think I've passed on Alki. What if we just like metal attack Alki and we just kill him next turn with this uh, little Lagoo squad up here? I think so, honestly, yeah. Doesn't seem too bad. Raphael needs to get up here anyway for the for the boss, so we might as well just. There's no there's no way that like Morum or Vika could profit by using a grass here, right? Like uh, I mean, they don't—they're not doing anything for much, but they probably want to keep their mobility. So I guess it's just like grass and do nothing, right? Like, what—what what, what else can they be supposed to do this turn? Yeah, like we have this mage. We have these guys. Like, I don't know. This seems like honestly, one thing that more Maviga could do is they could get like just south of Nyla and bait out the sleep onto them instead. Uh, I guess, but I don't want it to get attacked by the mage, do I? Hmm. Well, I mean, like no matter what happens, the mage is attacking someone who can't counter, right? So. I suppose. Well, I'll give it a go. I'm sure Vika will live. I, don't, I honestly don't know about Torma, but I've honestly been him before. I won't do it again. So let's bring him here. Let's just, uh, just do whatever. Warm, I think I'd rather keep out of range. I, this looks like, kind of like a Fire Mage to me. I'm, I'm not chancing that one. Yeah, he doesn't I can have never grass. tell with these ones. He's, yeah. You can revert stone, but no. Yeah, nah, I'm good. Doesn't seem very good. We could like go west of Vika, take her grass, and just use it. I don't know. Yeah, but that's in range of the mage, isn't it? Oh, everything. Oh, that one. I guess Morm's got so much HP. But no, I think your concern is warranted. On a, the thing, I was like, if he gets damaged, he has to heal, and then he gets in the way of his grassing and chip attacks and shoves. I want to do. I'd rather just give him full HP. It's so little benefit to it right now. Like he's done two combats. He can grass next yeah. turn. That's plenty. That's more than most Morms, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ike, you'll be fine, right? Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's convenient tiling. Goodbye. There we go. Good crossbow counter. Yep. Now we'll get at least one more enemy here. Yep, it's fine. Oh, that's a wind mage. Ugh. Five <laughs> Just, It's freaking dead. <laughs> well, either way, someone's going uncountered, yes. I was so confident. Even to get my death counter ready. Wow. Rip Vika. She had a chest key too. Oh really? Oh yeah. no. Oh, shoot. That sucks. But we'll be fine. Oops, sorry, I opened the wrong thing here. Just one shotted by an arc wind. Yeah, I'm I mean I guess it wasn't the fire mage, I was wrong on that part. Alright, Vika, where are you? Vika. Oh come on, I completely screwed this up. Where is it? Uh, hmm, hmm. This one. There you go. I fixed it. You can't see it, raisins, but I totally screwed up the death counter. But we're fine now. There you oh. go. I found it. Goodbye. Bye, Vika. We're gone. Ike? Ike, stay back. Don't worry. He's got 15 HP. That's plenty. I hope so. Are these snipers going to hit him now? I mean, like, maybe, but he's got, like, plus 5 from Ragnar. Hell level defense here. Watch. I'm oh, just kidding. Um. Ooh, I'm so scared. Ike. Why did we do that? It was such a bad move. Why is this game not like other games where all the enemies that can attack something move first and then the ones that can't attack move first? That is the best yeah, quality I, of life thing. I don't know the enemy move order. If it's something like just deployment order or what. Oh, what if the snipers would move before the mage? Then he's totally fine. Okay, so oh, wait, there's a mage over there? Uh, not another one. There's there was that mage on the ledge, and there was other snipers. And if those snipers yeah. move before the mage, then they see no attack and they just wait. Oh, true, yeah. Which I don't know. That might happen. Might also not happen. So the, oh, just barely made it through. Nice. Well done, Nyla. Oh, with the general to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm worried about Ike. Thirty-seven defense. Tanking. <laughs> never worried. I was never worried. I, I always thought he'd make it. Yeah, no. Easy. Just, Up the ledge, kill. Easy peasy. Easy right. peasy. We can make it now. Well, I guess he's ledge climbing. Yeah, I suppose I can just work on this uh, next sniper while he heals himself. And then Boyd just so. goes here and he's going to take care of the enemies that spawn here. I like it. And uh, everyone else is going to have to wait a long time because uh, there's no way I can get through. Uh, I have a vault. <laughs> I don't have a concoction, apparently. Yeah, we didn't even manage to use a sleep staff here. Uh, Give me trade a concoction to him. Yeah, What's I think he'll like Boyd trade or... for him. Yeah. Or someone else might. Yeah, actually, if we go left, if we trade from left, then we actually provide support up the ledge. Ooh, I like it. Fire support. That's fire. Um, yeah, that's hit, I think. Yeah, hit hit attack. I'll take that from you. Exactly. Everything that an uphill boy needs. Yes. 
Alright, Ike, go up here and heal yourself with this brilliant concoction I got here. And yeah, I don't think they're moving through anytime soon because the reinforcements might spawn this turn and don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to be here when that happens. Yeah, Unless there's some in the bottom center, but I think it's going to be a while before they show. That up. takes a long time. Or we could send. No, I don't think there's anything we can do with that. I was going to be like, we can use Raphael to transport them through faster, mm -hmm. but they can move like here and then one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to say, is it six or yeah. seven? Three, seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can only figure two of them anyway. Yeah, screw it. They're they're stuck here for now. There's no way that we can have like Morim and Oki contribute onto like this sniper that's near Nyla. Um well Morim doesn't reach and Oki can reach, but he doesn't kill, so we have a, we have a dancer, right? So, you know. True. Well we'd have to get the mage first, so I guess we just have Warm doesn't Oko mage, I'm pretty sure. So we'd have like Folky attack, <laughs> Folky, Oki attack, Folky. go like here or something. And then Raphael figures three of them. And then they can all gang up on a sniper. These guys clearly don't move. Well, this guy moves. Yeah, One, they don't, two, they three, don't move. Four, five, Maybe he does. Six. I think he moved here afterwards. Not sure. Because um, if the sniper's out of the way, you want to put Nyla like between these guys, obviously, right? Yeah, it's like as far forward as possible. Yes, I do want that as well. I kind of like that. Uh, let's see how Oki does against the mage. Where do we put Raphael? Probably here. And then if we don't kill the sniper, so be it. We just have Nyla kill him. That's fine. I think so. so yeah. Um, yeah. Go here. Well, we could have him attack. Oh, you're right, though. There's like... Well, no let's see how much to... Oki does. Yeah, let's do that first. And I was kind of concerned here. because Oki is weak to the wind, but like also he's Oki, so he probably just dodges, right? I think so. <laughs> he has way more HP too. He should be fine compared to Fika. Yep. And I guess Morm can kill. It's probably fine. Maybe his gauge is a bit of concern. I don't know if I brought grass on anyone else besides Fika. Let's see how, what his gauge is at, I guess. If he untransforms, it's not the end of the world. He has the stone anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's like plenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I guess Can we, we might get Tormod in here at all? Yeah, might as well, I guess. Yeah. Can, uh, Meteor or something, who knows? I, I can Meteor A General to put him in KO range for Nyla, I guess. What about one of these, like, three guys in that, like, row, you know? Because Nyla can't player phase attack that guy. Well, well if, it has to be if from here, player phase. if we're figuring, so... Mm. Yeah. If Nyla can player phase attack it, though, then maybe we don't care? Or would she like to refresh her pure water? Yeah, if we just did it last turn right, I don't think I feel like that. Yeah, so we can just attack the general. We don't need to meteor. Yeah. Wait, you mean which general? This one, the the close one. No, no, the far one. This the one. The one in like that three row. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. now I can just attack it. So like, who cares? Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> well, I mean, it could still make the difference, I guess. I don't think that's one of the super high level ones, but we'll see. All right, three wave wave figure go. Woo! So now we'll hit it up with Morum. I don't think we want him to fight that general. I'd rather have him fight the sniper if anything. So we'll just hit this guy, I guess. I don't even know if Olkik's gonna kill that, but we'll find out as soon, I guess. Yeah, no. Maybe Tormod's gonna have to come in for the last points of HP. Oh, perfect. perfect. Get perfect. out. Perfect. Okay. Go back. Uh, actually, I think Morum might be in range of two Swordmasters now. This guy. One, two, three, this four, five, six, seven. Oh, he's just short, I think. Good. Well, that's the Tempest Blade guy, so... Oh, well... Hmm. I mean, I guess that guy has to be player face anyway, so we could just go here for now. Because, like, if we go here, yeah, we'll fight. Well, there's the Stormmaster here, too, actually. Actually, is that the Tempest Blade guy? I actually can't remember. Hmm. If that was the Tempest Blade guy, he would have attacked Nyla last turn, right? No, he wouldn't have, because the guys were occupying the tiles. Two, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Well, if, it's the, if, this, if this is the Tempest Blade guy... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Would have gone here and attacked, right? No, wait, because well, there's a the guy here. Yeah. yeah, the sniper was covering it. Mm -hmm. Let's attack a general. You know? Well, why, wait, not just, the... why not just attack the Swordmaster then and go next to the general? I guess so. I, I was concerned for a moment that this is one of the guys who don't one round, but no, I, I think honestly, if we fail to one round a general, we just like attack with Tormod anyway, right? Yeah, I just want to kill Swordmasters. 
because they're really hard to gank here. Okay. Um... Do you, like, plink this guy with the Bulgadon? He doesn't move, clearly, so... <laughs> what if he moves after I hit him, though? What if he's like that? Oh, true. I know he usually uh... doesn't move, but I'm always paranoid. Ah, fair enough. Oh, this guy's at full health. Okay. Whoopsie daisy. What happened? How did he... How did he... There's yeah. no way we missed him, right? Maybe? I know how he did that. That's that's black magic to me. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna give you a brave axe and then hit the other guy. It's clearly Gatry's not at doubling speed yet. Oh wow, so you wanna stop two shotting with their silencer? Get out of here. What is this unit? Yeah, what terrible unit? Oh, nice. Oh uh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna um, add around. Uh, yeah, I wonder if going Heather elsewhere. can actually Yeah, yeah, get out of here. I mean I don't she probably doesn't have to do that, but uh, I forgot it was a chest key there. That's good. Okay. Um, we're good, right? I mean, I guess we can shove Rafael so. forward. Yeah, no. Shove him forward, shove him backward. Like, if this six. general moves, then... Well, if the general moves, we would just want to shoot. Yeah, I guess just stay here. If he has a ranged weapon, we, do, we don't uh, We want to shove him back, I guess. I don't think he has a ranged weapon. He yeah. just has this thing. Mm -hmm. In that case, probably better to just be here. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's uh, see what happens. That's sleep on Torma. Yep. That's fine. Nice. That is uh, not the unit I care about right now. CP Torma. Oh, we we found a Tempest Blade guy. There he is. I I'm kind of he fearing for more now because he's gonna transform now. Not oh, true. Oh, sniper is stationary. I guess. Get him like twice. Do it. Yes, perfect. You can get up now. Get up now. What if Boyd goes up and Ike stays down and fights all these two range enemies that are coming up here? Reasons? Hmm. I mean, Boyd can still do it from the high ground, right? Like. Yeah, he can. Hmm. But the, the the point is that, um, well, actually, no. Ike is probably more valuable to have walking around, and Boyd better to have stuck there doing dumb things. Yeah, like Ike can get this top right room, and then he can go and get mm -hmm. the other room. Yeah, he's more self-sufficient. It's just, we're going to have people stuck behind that, uh, like, the, the Cavalier squad is going to get stuck behind the reinforcements for a little bit if Boyd takes his time fighting them up the, from up the ledge. Yeah, that's going to happen for sure. Which is, like, it's okay, as long as we don't need Restore in this main room, but the way it's looking right now, getting missed over there already takes five turns anyway, so maybe that's just not a big loss. Yeah, no. Well, looks like Nyla has it covered at All least. Right. Ah, uh, one okay. short. That's fine. We can no, not Torm on and up Worm, so I don't know who's going to take care of that. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> it was never happening in the first place. It was never happening in the first place. Okay, fine. It's fine. Okay, there's, there's the squad. Okay. That's who we were talking about, right? Yes. yes. Those are the ones. Uh, well, these guys at least can start opening chests. Uh, who got that key? You did, right? No, Shinon got the key. Yeah, Shinon got the key. Hmm. Thinking about like, is there some trash unit I can devote to doing this? I guess what we can do is like, actually have Heather do these and then have the chest keys guys walk up here or something. Maybe yeah, better. because like there's no combat over here to do. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this seems yeah. way better. Yeah, what if combat appears though? <laughs> that would be kind of scary, wouldn't it? Nah, then just uh, she's a big girl. She can handle herself, right? Do you remember if there's anything from that side? I don't think there's anything from that side per se. I think it's mostly there is here. eventually. Yeah, probably at some point, but not like super fast. I think. Yeah. Um, so Boyd is like, get started on... Oh, yeah, it probably has to be here, otherwise they'll climb up the ledge and bonk him up close. Is it, like, fine that they climb up the ledge? They kind of want that, right? So that they fight Boyd, as opposed to fighting the Cavs? Yeah. Well, it depends. If we think Boyd can handle them by himself, then, yeah, I'm sure them climbing up is fine. If we think he cannot, then we want him to be down ledge. So here's a thought. We do this, and then let's look at what Ike can do, right? Yeah, he can probably start fighting this general while still can break. doing supports and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what mm -hmm. I wanted to show you yeah. is that we're in support range, actually. Yeah, that's fine with me for now. It's like, this is a this is some kind of contract that Boyd just like puts his name under for a couple turns, probably, because once he does this, they can't, he can no longer block the ledge to the first place. Oh, we can break the door and yeah. then fight more. Yeah, that looks like, kind of like this. Let's do this. He has the earth support active now. He doesn't really have worries. Even there's like five mages behind us and there's none. Good. Um, so this is a Tempest Blade guy. We know that Oki like kills those kind of quickly. We could mm -hmm. get Nyla back real quick, do a dance, and then come back here. 
like um, Nyla goes for this general, for example, and then Oki finishes him off. Then we vigor them both, and then I don't know how we guarantee kill the Swordmaster though. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe we don't worry about the we, general. We kill the Swordmaster first. We could Lagoose Stone uh, Warren. Right? Oh yeah, get him in the vigor as well. Yeah. Um, and then he can finish the Swordmaster after Oki chips him maybe. So we do like this, and then Oki hits the Swordmaster, counters back, and like and Warren goes. Um, I can't I can't vigor from the tile that the general is right now unless he's dead, which he might not be. But I guess what can happen is if I, if he doesn't die, I can kill him with Oki, and then Warren Lagoose Stones, and then I vigor them all, and then Oki plus Warren can combine and kill the Swordmaster anyway. Yeah, it all works out. I think it's good. Okay, let's see. Oh, we can just Savage or Twitkyo. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> works for me. Goodbye. Alright. Lagu Stone. Stone doesn't really matter where, I think. Lagu Stone. Yeah, Oki's gonna get like a little chip in and then go back anyway. Yeah. Bonk. And. Bonk. Oh, wow, he just does it on his own. After the dance, of course, but like, yeah. you know, still. Yes. Calder here. And I think the rightmost general of this trio we can punch through with Nyla. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. It's clearly not the middle one. <laughs> yeah, no, we not can, him. Uh, wait, so I did weaken this guy. So what we can do maybe is we can hit this Stormmaster with Morum, uh, hit a general with Oki, and then guaranteed blast through. We can get the middle general with Oki plus Nyla, and then Nyla in the middle of them. Hmm. Right? Well... So, like, the, the rightmost general is already injured, and Nyla doesn't have canter. So, like, no matter so no matter what, the general whom we kill, we have to kill with Nyla. Yeah, so... so but if It we, might as well be this rightmost one. Well, yeah, but the, my idea is that Oki chips this middle one. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, wait, yeah, Nyla cannot canter that tile. You're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. I, I, thought, I thought about doing that, too. Like, oh, we can get a guy in the center, but it's not really as productive as I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'll, uh, I'll get the outmost one, I guess. Oh, nice. I'll take that. Don't die with that, please. Um, okay, so now I like it's this one. Just a little twist. I guess Nyla... I guess Oki can start on the middle general. Maybe with their all, com all their combined efforts, they can get them. <laughs> he he could, although one thing I was thinking about was actually sending him to this top room with like a pure water. The reason being is that there's a lot of bishops up here who don't initiate attack. Oh yeah. Right, like you, you have to play your face skills on. Oh, so true. I do like that. All right, take my. Uh, th These are all filler items so that he can uh, send things to the convoy if he wants to. Mm -hmm. All right, so do this and pure water. And I guess it's just initiate on some generals for no reason other than strike rank. I guess. I guess he, I he mean, might hit S rank is, somewhere along the way. It, I don't know. It is strike rank, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Tormod is still snoozing here. I think Warren will probably get stuck this turn if I had to predict something. Yeah, but that seems like the. We'll be able to identify the sleep bishop and then put him to eternal sleep, I guess, which is kind of good. There you go. All right, uh, oh, our calves. Yeah, they're still stuck here, I think. There's no way we're able to like here. Are they able to like creep up there just in case? No, right? Like this is such well, an awful position to be three, in. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So like, I guess they can move like two tiles forward each. But I don't know. What if um, the enemies are like, oh, I can't reach Boyd. I'm gonna move down here instead. That'd be kind of scary, mm. wouldn't it? It's, yeah, it's I wouldn't like that either. It's kind of crappy in a way. We will, I think I'll just keep him here. I don't think it'll make a difference right now. And I don't know. It's it's probably correct to move him forward, but I don't want to risk like a longbow or an oversight or something. So I don't think it matters enough to try doing something square counting here. I'll just mm -hmm. end my turn, I think. Yeah. All right. There's the sleep staff. It's the rightmost guy. You do it. Zzz. All right. <laughs> the entire Lagoose Alliance is now inactive. <laughs> <laughs> In one way or another, yeah. Yes. Go get him, Oki. This well, is still productive. This is still productive. That's true, actually. Yeah. I shouldn't. I shouldn't lament. Right. So. Okay. So this is something that Boyd is gonna have to deal with for a bit. But I think he has the uh, the earth support to do so. Hey, he does two shot. Whoa! These guys do attack. Yeah, I guess. I, didn't know. I know. I think some of them do. Apparently, I vaguely yeah, remember that like not all of them are equal. They're they're two range though, right? So like you know. Yeah, it's the same thing. They don't really matter. It's like one mm -hmm. HP extra on Alki. Oh no. Okay, more strike rank. Regrind. Three levels too. What if you get strength? You don't know. You might. What if? 
Oh, no way. Poggers. Poggers. Let's get it. Next, please. All right. This should be okay. He's not going to double these, obviously, but it'll be training. Training is good. They don't double him. There you go. Oh, where are you going? Oh, that's fine. You can go there. I mean, you're not accomplishing anything, but you can go there if you want to. Oh. There we go. There's the heal. That's a free that, heal. I think we can do the next room. Yeah. If we're okay with leaving Boyd out of support range, then we can definitely do that. Hmm. Yeah, that's the tricky part, huh? Yeah. Well, he's going to clear out this whole bit now. How tricky would the I master general be to get rid of someone here? All these people are sleeping or, like, not very good. Like, the closest people are, like, Gatry and Titania. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we, bit. like, hit the sword master. Right? Oh, now's our chance with the calves. Um. Oh, yes. We can get through here. Hopefully they can make it now. Maybe not moving last turn was actually... Oh, wait. Actually, is it our chance? Because he can go down the ledge again. Yeah, well, the, we can, oh, I we guess can, the sniper can. We, can. we can Ike the Swordmaster and put Boyd in a way you're stuck on the ledge. <laughs> oh, there you go, yeah. They can just be trapped. <laughs> yes, we'll trap him on the ledge. It was a trap all along. They're like mist, you know? They're stuck between the ledges. Well, they can attack Ike if they want to. Um, I think we kill the sniper I mean, and we expose. Yeah, yeah no, that, they, that they, they can attack Ike either way. <laughs> uh, and either way, Ike counters and kills, so... Yeah. I'll just get the sniper because Boyd XP is a little more rare than Ike XP. Get out of here. And I think Boyd might want our warriors, not sure. Let's move in here, and if it doesn't work, we'll just have to move him backwards. <laughs> it's fine. Mm -hmm. Go in here. He doesn't one round the warrior, but the warrior's injured Wait. from beforehand, so we're fine. Yes. Wait, is he? From yep. what? Uh, from Boyd attacking from the high ground. Oh, right. You're true. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, oh, Heather, keep on working here. Probably should have taken the innermost one, but it's fine. Y'all keep on moving. Maybe they oh, can do the... We heavy. can shove a uh, Tormod, actually. <laughs> oh. Get the wake up. Well, it'd be great, but or... I think if we put him here, then he's in range to get the... Gynex. Or we can maybe get a Vigor in on him, somehow. Oh, true. Hmm, we'd really love to Vigor them both. I think it's in the cards, though. It's not. Nah, we can get Shen on, that's it. If we figure Shinon, he can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 3 range to general? Question mark? I think so. That seems good. Yeah, that seems fine. He's the one with the chest key too, so we might as well. Wake up, Tormod. The saddest 4-way figure. Yeah, I know. Look, I can move Tormod again. Uh, oh wait, he does not reach? He does not reach. Sad. Barely doesn't. Yeah. Oh well. Um, I was wondering actually if this was the turn to get Raphael on like the Oliver room, but no, come on, that's like so dangerous. Uh, yeah, I, he probably has the rest to survive a bishop, and his generals don't seem to move, but it's kind of hard, plus Oliver might die <laughs> if that happens. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's find a space to park Nyla between a bunch of generals. Probably here is like the most, or like between the ones that Oki weakens is probably best. Let's get the sleep staff guy with Oki before we forget. Yeah, that's a good move. And then put him not next to generals so that he doesn't interfere with Nyla's plans. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe Nyla could like attack this bishop with the Physic. Uh, the top and left one? That way he... Like yeah, the top right. Then he, anyway. That way she counters the general as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, I think I just put Oki nowhere. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just... And then, like, get this one, you mean? I think so, yeah. Not sure. Uh, yep, seems good with me. Get out of here. No, staff. Oh. Bye. There's probably going to be some delay here because of all this. Like, there's way too many generals for Nyla to get on their own, but all their hammer guys are busy. Well, that uh, leaves me with just Tormod. I don't think I can do anything with Tormod or Morarm, so it's time to press and turn. My favorite button. Get him, Boyd. One more XP for the kills. One more... XP for Nyla. Alright, easy tooth kill, thanks to the chip damage from Oki. Yeah, really relevant actually, you were right. Strike rank incorporated. And there's a squad here. And that's it, good. Heather, you're making me really nervous, let's get you out of there. Yep. Blizza. Totally worth risking her life over, by the way. Uh, this is actually problematic for Morham. Could we put... Oki in front of all that, or I was thinking maybe go maybe uh Gatri, maybe Oki and Gatri. 
oh, true, yeah. walled off the whole place. Yeah, that's probably Actually, can't, can't get through Shinon, just do it on their own. Yeah, Shinon is near the chest already, though, with the chest key. And if we don't... And, like, what do we need Oki here for here, right? Mm. I guess, like, you could kill the bishop one turn, but... Um, I guess if Gatri can go here, this halberd here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think one of these guys has a ranged weapon, and there's like a mage here too. It's like kind of dubious. Yeah, the halberd here has one. Yeah, you think this guy's a spear, right? Or like a short spear or something? So yeah, it's probably best to have like two units walled out a whole place off for now. I think. I think I'm okay with that. Let's get. Yeah. Okay, down I, here. Yeah, it's yeah. just a matter of like what's the safest place for. Or what's like the most productive thing for Nyla and Oki to do? Because like they're they are really good units up there. Mm -hmm. And Ike can get this room anyway. Yeah, it kind of like delays our chest opening, but which you know, which, what, what, do you, what do you want Ike to do? Get this general? Yeah, we'll get the door. Kind of same maneuver that we did last time. There's gonna be two oh, mages yeah. back here, which is kind of scary. But he has ether, so I don't know. He'll figure mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, he's got a pure water on his belt as well. Uh, I don't remember when I last refreshed it, but he does have it. I guess we can move Boyd up the ledge for this turn as well, and then he has the support and he's never dying. There we go, yeah. Alright, I like that. And then we can maybe use Shinon on the guys there. Shinon's probably good in that uh, upper left room, actually. If we want to. Oh, cause... true, yeah. Well, actually, doesn't it open it to, like, for them to flood out? If we, Yeah, we just can't take it too close, I guess. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, maybe Boyd is actually, like, better placed here, just to, like, fight the guys, you know? Yeah, I'll just refresh this pure water too. There you go, that makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, Shinon can't do anything meaningful besides support Gachi, which I guess is possibly relevant. Uh, what if we... I can have Gachi shove Tormod again, and he'll wake up in like one more turn. Yeah. And that will maybe turn him into a chest opener next turn? Possibly? Just like going through Tormod's pockets while he's asleep. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Shinon isn't doing much this turn. I guess I can like... Put Shinon into Vigor, and then we can yeah. kill some guys on the left. Yeah, I think I think I like this actually. Go here, Vigor. Uh, I can get this chest key so that Tormod can take it next turn as he's being Vigor to get to the chest room. There you go. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Big brain. Yeah, I might think as well keep the chest key close to the chest room, right? Yeah. Here. If I have these two wall here. With a little crossbow. Yeah, okay, hold up. I have an idea. Uh, you go there, so you can go here. I can silencer or brave bow a general, hopefully Deadeye. And then I trade him the crossbow, and then we have to provoke maneuver going on with Gatri. That sounds good to me, yeah. All right, let's see it. Any Deadeye gamers in chat? I don't think Deadeye kills, even. Uh, Yeah, we'll do 60 more damage. It probably wouldn't kill, yeah, but it's yeah, okay. World's most cooperative Shinon right here. But... <laughs> Uh, okay, cross. Actually, Akar. Akar, yeah, Akar. Akar, it's more still accurate. Still got 24 uses, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, get out of here. More accurate, get out. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to Brave Axe this turn. So that walls off these guys. And the mage is going to go on counter to Boohoo. And then, let's see. So this guy's super weak, so we can kill him with Oki. Or we can kill the Physic guy with uh, Oki. I think I'll take the Physic guy I kind of prefer the other guy, because then we can Kanto out of Oliver's range. Uh, but... I feel like Oliver just doesn't move or attack right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's honestly, that's part true. What also, if he is... attacks Nyla, like, so what? What if, uh, like, Oki goes, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, he catches next to his general, and then he gets killed, right? Hmm. Because he doesn't move still, hopefully? Yeah, it still doesn't move. So that way, they're both dead, hopefully. And we can put Nyla between the uh, generals. We can... Uh, kill the bishop that keeps shining us, or we can kill two generals now. Oh, nice. Let's get it. Nice, nice. Do you think we kill the two generals, or we kill the bishop here? Probably the bishop, right? Like, it's gonna be the same number of actions either way. Mm -hmm. Seems good. I'll take the guy that moves. The, yeah, the bishop could interrupt our, like, Raphael plans. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. Bye. Alright, this is the, the cabs, point. or... Yeah. I think, yeah, that's the last thing to do, is the cabs. Three, three, four. So yeah, this is all fine. Cavies. Woo! Small caveats. I think we'll get more reinforcements this turn from that uh, tile over there, but it's at this point I think we're kind of solidly looking. The only thing I fear, I guess, is that and Heather. Hold on. Okay, yep, this is all I can do. Yeah, Heather does have to kind of get out of here, but 
Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect this to have dialogue. I didn't expect it to attack, honestly. I thought it was completely passive. Okay. Biggest Oliver attack. Is that Nosferatu? Yeah, that was Nosferatu. It's, uh, if you turn animations on, it totally wrecks the game's performance. <laughs> oh, Dolphin. really? <laughs> and Nintendo PCs are like, I don't know why I said Dolphin. I don't know what Dolphins have to do with any of this. Yeah, no. Alright, another Ike level. Another day. 15. Level 15. I Golly. think he's capped like three stats at this point. Yeah, no. At the very least. That's the spear guy, whatever. I have to Brave Axe, so these warriors will be forced to suicide into Gatry, I think. And by suicide, I mean he probably doesn't even two shot, but he might Luna. Oh, come on, he's got it. Come have on, some Gatry. faith in Gatry, right? I have a lot of faith in Gatry. Alright, S rank strike coming in clutch. Perfect. One more general down. I think. I think Oliver just doesn't move, so if I put Nilo next to him, he just dies. <laughs> yeah, that or he goes for uh, Raphael, right? Yes, so I think next turn what we do is we throw Nyla in a space where Oliver can't attack her without moving, and then if he moves, he goes for Raphael, and then we're fine. I think. Uh, we might have to get a figure in to kill another general here, but that should... I think that's all within our action economy to do. Yeah, I, everything here looks like very feasible. Very under control. Okay, the one, so, I guess a hammer could be scary here if it happens, but there doesn't seem to be one. That's good. Yeah, I know. Fine. Alright, too late, guys. I'm already past this point. Oh, Tormod awoke. There you go. Perfect. Perfect Tormod. Perfect Tormod. Alright, so... And Heather can get out of there, too. Yes, for now. Let's get you out of here. And get the calves through here. I mean, we don't need Restore at this point. Mist has literally done nothing this entire chapter, except health check people. Get out of here. Um, I guess what Ike's if... most productive thing now is to go back down here or Boyd, honestly. Yeah, what, where can Ike go? It's fun thing with Ike, he can go anywhere he wants. Um, I, th I think it's. I wonder just... if we shove him or. Shove Ike to do what? To go down to that square and then like fight the guys. Because oh, like, I'm mean... actually kind of thinking that the Swordmaster can't reach. No, the Swordmaster can totally reach if he goes there. So we want a Boyd support, I think. Yeah. Or have Void get a chest key and help the whole like chest key process, right? Yeah, there's oh there's like four chests. Uh let's see, where are my chest keys right now? Um uh, Tormod can get one from Raphael. Where's my other one? Was it not I don't think I have one with Vika. Vika the door key, I think. Uh, Vika me... did have a chest key. Vika had a chest key? You saw one, I think? Yeah. Okay, that sucks. What's more I'm got actually? Um Chest key. Oh here's one. Hmm. There you go. Um, oh, he's asleep, so he is. Uh, he's snoozing happily. Okay. Uh, well, maybe Oki replaces someone here. One of these two guys, like probably Shinon. Shinon goes to get the chests with uh, Moram, like the original plan was. I think so. That does sound good. So Oki can kind of like do a drive-by on this general, or actually, Oki contributing to these ranged weapons would be pretty handy. I think, right? Yeah. Like I think. I think. Nyla probably goes here this turn. After... Yeah, I like that Nyla move. Oh wait, Nyla can't do this thing here. We probably want to use Raphael's turn to like clear up this whole space then. Mm -hmm. To get like a four-way murder here. Maybe like Shinon goes here, for example. And then uh, like hits this guy. And then Gatri goes one right. Hanax is the warrior. Mm -hmm. uh, Oki Actually... does some kind of attack. Yeah, we could do that. We, we could try another Brave Bow thing with like Dead Eye proc here. On this guy? Yeah, that's possible yeah. too. That's fine too. I like that. Like, um, it's it's kind of RNG, but it's also like the best mm -hmm. we got. Can we do it from here? I think that makes figuring slightly easier for everyone. Yes, it does. All right. Much better. All right, bye. Well, it's hold up. Don't speak so soon. Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> all good, all good. All right. Very good, Shinon. Very good. Uh, you get over here, and we just big bald headlights. A hey, very, very fitting, very fitting forge for this occasion. Get the guy out of here, and maybe Oki can get the mage and canter in position for a vigor. I think so. Nice level up. One, two, get three, on. four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's perfect. Get over here. They totally can. And do that. Boy, boink. And then I think the best play is to put Tormod in the east part of that dance and then have Raphael trade the chess key over and do the uh, vigor. 
sure. Yeah. I don't hate that. That technically gets Tormod like the most. But never mind. He just takes the <laughs> chess key from Raphael, I guess. Yes. Yeah, I suppose so. That's okay still. Get the chess key. I don't think there's any relevant meteors here, but we might as well try. Yeah, why not? Also, this one, uh, two yeah. shopping things anyway, so this might help. We'll see if it does, right? Yeah. Did I take the chesky? I did, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, perfect. Uh, the figure... Is this in range of Oliver? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's just in range of him, right? Yep, just in range. Yeah, okay, perfect. Gelder? Shidon has to, you know, like, scooch out of the way, but... Yeah. He's there. Uh, don't worry, I'm moving Shidon. He's getting uh, chesky duty now, right? So... Uh, I guess what we're gonna see here now is killing people here. Um, maybe... Well, Nyla can do that, right? So... Uh, well, Nyla wants... We... I want Nyla to go here personally. Um, oh, sure, So yeah. maybe I Brave Axe this guy, and if he's dead, great. If he's not dead, we kill him with Oki. That's right. He's by far the biggest priority, though, because he can just kill Raphael right here. Yes. So that's why I want to make sure he can't do that. And then we do this. Bonk. Okay, and just go one left to prevent ranged shenanigans, and then... You know, so here's a thought, actually. Um, if Ike goes down and is in range of, su of void support, I think we can actually leave the map this turn. Yeah. We missed the chests, I understand. Uh, but it will be very epic if we manage that, yes. But we do get out the map this turn. Yes. Uh, do you remember what's in the chests? There is Fortify, Arbalest... Blue gem, red gem. I want to say, uh, and I think these these two chests right here that are closest to us are the two gems. So that's like either it actually might be blue gem, white gem. Uh huh. And the, the other fortify ones are less than fortify, right? Okay. Yeah, are less fortify. Yeah, I would really love fortify, but other than that, I can live without it. Um, well, I'll just move towards it, and like we know from last chapter that sometimes you don't route the map when you expect to route the map. Oh, true, yeah. Actually, this, I think the Sword Master's not going to die unless we proc a, a, a Mastery of some kind. Yeah, I think so we don't talk about We, we can try for it, right. if it doesn't happen, great, we get chests instead, win-win. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> we still have the Bronze Sword. <laughs> yeah. I know why, honestly. Uh, I thought I put it out of here. Um, Boyd, oh. I think, has to... He can, like, scooch one right, maybe, at most. Yeah, but if he does that, he, he's a range of chests, I guess, next turn. We can get, like, one yeah. chest somewhere. Alright, so we'll go here. You have Chesky, right? Oh, you don't. Uh, Moram has a chest key, I think. He's not waking think up next so. turn, so I'll just get it now. Beautiful. And yeah, Moram has one more turn. Mm -hmm. uh, support is best, I think. Well, Wait. he supports either way, right? So, but if you go here, then you can get it. Well, oh, you can get chest either way. Yeah, yeah. This is this, this is better. If he goes right, then the sniper could attack him and just like gum up everything. So yeah, that would be quite bad. Okay, and Nyla has to. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, Nyla has to kill both generals this turn as well. But I think Oof. there were... Do you remember if both of them were weakened by Oki? No, only the bottom one was. I was oh. thinking maybe we need to do the top one. Yeah. I was like paranoid that he would move for a fail or something, but... Uh, just so. get a strength level, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> easy, <laughs> easy, <you>. easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> easy. Worst Nyla. Average Nyla level up. See, I didn't get All it right. from Bex because I knew I'd get it here. Okay. There you go. Well, here goes nothing. So. Yep. Let's see. Epic heist. Okay, there is Oliver. I listen to the music at the very least. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. All right. What are you Ike. saying? Well, this is a guaranteed one round for sure. Oh, yeah, get out of here. You it's the sword master. Right. What do we gotta worry about? Yeah, the sword master is the one with all the question marks above his head, right? Yeah, or maybe the warrior on the left. There's like a warrior that might not die to Gachi or Olki. Yeah. Is 36 his cap? I think so. Ooh. Ah, uh, with the Brave oh, Axe, Luna? maybe he's got it. Oh. Mind. Luna's got it. There we go. Guess we're not getting fortified at this rate. Alright, General. I guess this is not going to be a one round as well. Oh, nah, perfect. 26, perfect. 26. Clutch. Strength Beautiful. level, yes. Can we get a more opposite clear compared to last chapter? Holy okay. fuck. More. Bonk, bonk. All right, Swordmaster. We need an Ether proc to route this turn. <gasps> Wait, this is the last enemy. What? We're not in range. No, we're not. You're right. All right. Well. Ah, oh, don't enough. worry. We got it. Close enough. Um, but can we? We can get gems, I guess. Yeah. Or we could trade the. How about this? Let's look at. Let's look at the chests. 
I, I'm just gonna look at the chests. Okay. I mean, most uh, people let's... are not gonna do anything this turn anyway. Uh, in fact, oh, Shinon can be shoved up. Yeah, we're fine. We have mm -hmm. options. Many options. You well, think Oliver mm. can shove, shove, shove uh, Shinon? <laughs> Is there some risk in not killing this? Because we mentioned before that the Swordmaster is kind of dicey. Well, if we move Ike here now, and then have Boyd finish him off or something, then we're killing one Swordmaster for sure, but we're probably not killing this one unless we proc Aetheric. Like, it's the same thing, yeah. except this time we're actually in range of the Swordmaster. Hmm. Gosh, I kind of want to just, like, check and see how much speed does the Swordmaster have, right? Like... There's no way I double Swordmasters, right? He I actually guess I, might, is the thing. I guess I can attack like, him, and then if he doubles this one, then we know he might double the next one as well. Yeah, one thing is, so if he doesn't double, then I think the best move is actually to shove the Swordmaster. Out of the way, so the other ones can reach? Yeah, because depending on move order, like we might need that guy. Well, hmm. Well, we can kill with Boyd out of the way. And then, yeah, Boyd well, can't can, get can, can, we, can we actually kill with Boyd? We might need Shinon, actually, for that kill. Well, no, because we hit him with Ike, and then we hit him with Boyd. But then uh, Boyd would get attacked by the sniper. Oh, true. I mean, will he? He is like on the ledge. Oh, true. Actually, maybe they go for. I mean, maybe they will. Mm. Maybe they won't. Um. Well, so what? What if you did shove him out of the way then, right? Because then we still have to ether two sword masters. Or like, I guess if Ike doubles them all, then yeah, we should do that. Mm -hmm. But there's no way to know. It's it's Skinner's sword master. We don't know. One thing I do know for sure is if, I, if Boyd goes up in here right now with the chest key, he can get both chests. <laughs> uh, but over two turns, of course. Yeah, I'm trying to see which chest is which. Wild is not being helpful. <laughs> Why not? It, doesn't it have like numbers on the chests? No, it's it actually it doesn't even have the ceiling gone. Oh no. Yeah. Um, well, Shinon needs two shelves to make it here, and he got the key, so I can just check the chests, uh, you know, the, the old-fashioned way. <laughs> with a with a shove, and then we'll see who's faster, you on Watt or me with the chest keys. All right, Let's I have it Oliver right here. Can, oh, Oliver can contribute. Let's go. There you go. All right. So what are these? These are these are gems. The okay. fortifying arbalest are in the top right room. Okay. So I guess if I want those, I have to move Shinon here, which means that he will be in range of some things if I did that. Well, actually, this is kind of good because we can like attack the Swordmaster from north, and then, like with Brave Bow or that, and that definitely kills, right? I mean, come on. If probably. it doesn't, even the, I mean, probably. Yeah. We have high round, like mm -hmm. we have ledge bonus. Mm -hmm. So, but he has to trade the point, right? So, like we do it like this, and Brave Bow from three range. Oh, right? true. Yeah, we can just three range it, and then Boyd right. gets a chest, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, um, just be the Boyd. Break both from three nothing. Does not kill. Oof. I guess Ike's gotta kill them. Alright, so where's the fortify? Fortify is the left chest. Alright, let's get it. Uh, I guess Ike technically has to attack first to get that massive support bonus. Yeah, we gotta do that first, <laughs> right? Always. Oh, I guess I put Ike in the way of Shinon. Oh well. That's fine. Uh, left, right? Correct. Right, left? Fortify. Right, left, yeah. To the convoy. And here, well, Torgod needs a figure to make it anywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He needs some shelves as well, I think. Mm -hmm. Might not even make it with a shelf. Uh, we can shove Raphael a couple times. Yeah, we can get there. One. I think, I don't know if you know if it's two enough, but we'll see. Oh, we can uh, figure Oliver and have him shelf again. <laughs> No, true. <laughs> Getting here. Oh, this isn't even, like, good in any way, but... Yeah, no. Yeah, I screwed it up. It's fine. It's just gems anyway. Yeah, it's just... It's actually blue gem, red gem. It's not even white gem. You know what? We're not routing this turn anyway. I'll just get all of her ready for a trade. There you go. Um, yo, this is a Cap's great way to get her out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. The rescue crew. Exactly. Yes, this is what they were here for. Let's remember they, their contributions on the, on the first turn and the last turn. Well, if this is the last turn, that is. I mean, I guess like cap speed. It, you should route, technically. Yeah, this this should be fine, right? I, I actually think there's a good chance he doubles the Swordmaster. Yeah, I think so too, because he's like 36. Swordmaster's having 34 seems like pretty high. He has 31. Oh. oh no, he has, sorry, he has 35. He doubles 31 and below. Okay, so... 
Maybe he'll get another point here. Then he'll make it even more likely. Nice no, he's cat speed. Oh, never mind, Ooh, he's not cat speed. Oh, shit, easy, what if this is it? Easy win. What if this is it? All right, we gotta kill this guy. Got him. Oh. Guess we're not getting gems. Can't nope. see I'm too salty about that. Bonk. 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 Easy clear, look at that. Well done. I forgot to check the turn count, but should be good. Whew. That was fun. And very dumb. Sorry, Vika. That was a good map. <laughs> Another storm weathered. Hui. Poor Hetzel. You must go to the Tower of Guidance. We'll get him next time. Another 3k Bexp obtained with these. And it only cost us a red gem, a white gem, and an Arbalest. Whatever those are. Yeah, I mean, the Arbalest is how much bite on that thing? It's like, I, I think it goes funny. like it starts like the crossbow started like 24 or something, and it goes up by four for every level, I think. But yeah, I don't know how far it gets or which one Arbalest is. They all have like really confusing names. It's 38 might. So <laughs> if you wanted a, uh, how much is this? Golly, a 114 might weapon <laughs> against the birds next map, then you have it. Yeah. Or the, or the Lagoos if you go cro if you go beast foe. Which, uh, yeah. speaking of uh, Beast Foe, that is next map. The, the Beast Foe farm slash one turn Izuka kill, whichever has your preference. I know I'm going to farm it for a little bit, for sure. Get oh, some, for sure, yeah. Uh, get some juicy Nephany or Tanith or Zhark XP or Volug, even if I want to. And then. Uh, yeah, it'll be a fun time. Then it's on the end game. We're not going to live stream until we're like a little further into the game. I think at least I want to record 4E1 because it's kind of long. But after that, it's just a series of boss battles, basically. So maybe we'll stream that whole bit. I haven't decided yet. But uh, first, we got to get through some Izuka. We'll see that next time. Yep, see you next time.